shows bright blue flashes lighting up the sky as transformers explode, leaving neighborhoods, many of them without power. Officials in Florida say more than 3 million homes and businesses have no electricity right now. This is hours after Milton made landfall on Florida's Gulf Coast. And we have team coverage for you this morning. Meteorologist Mario Ruiz will join us momentarily to talk about the tornadoes that spun up around the storm. We also have Natalie Haddad live at Dallas Love Field where people will likely be feeling the travel impacts from Milton for days. First, though, we do want to get to Chris Sadegui in the newsroom. And Chris, the storm is on its way out, as Greg mentioned but it is still very dangerous for people in Florida right now. Yes, Karen, we'll be staying on top of these reports coming out of Florida this morning as we await updates on the damage and the loss of life. We're also getting our first idea of the federal response. It could be days before we get an accurate number of deaths, but the St. Lucie County Sheriff reported multiple fatalities at a senior living community near Fort Pierce. That's on Florida's east coast. It's not just the 120 mile per hour winds doing damage, but storm surge flooding areas where people live. One of the many problems created with a storm like this is a loss of power this morning. There were still 3 million people without it, but there are 50,000 linemen at the ready to go out and restore the power once it is safe to do so. 1400 search and rescue personnel as well ready to hopefully find survivors in this destruction and debris. As for federal help, FEMA says they have more than $11 billion in the disaster relief fund and are at the ready. We are prepared for this. We will certainly um, have challenges along the way um, as we move people around, but this is what we're good at. This is what we plan for. President Biden also spoke about the response, saying federal and local agencies are in constant contact. In the newsroom, I'm Chris Sadegi. And we all started going for the hallway. Didn't even make it there in time. Sorry, doo -doo, and I heard a piece of glass crack and it sucked the whole roof off and I felt the thing suck me up. I grabbed my kid and my wife and hunker down. Yeah, before Milton even made landfall, you heard from that man there. Dozens of tornadoes ripped across Florida. That guy lives in Fort Myers. Roofs are blown off, homes, trees, fences, power lines, they're all down. Meteorologist Mario Ruiz uh, joins us now. Mario, Florida might have seen a record number of tornadoes, and we've been talking about Hurricane Milton and, and how it was going to bring storm surge, this, that, the other. Uh, but these tornadoes just as a big of a problem. Absolutely. And this well ahead of landfall, we started seeing tornado warnings about six, eight hours before Milton made landfall and a lot of it on the right hand side of the track, which is what we always talk about being the most dangerous part of the storm. So this is an image of all of the tornado warnings that were issued yesterday, over 150 of them. None of these are confirmed. Well, a few of them are confirmed, but not all of them are confirmed. And this is something that the National Weather Service out of Miami actually tweeted out. They said five of the seven tornadoes on here are confirmed via images and on radar. Now, of course, the tracks are preliminary, so eventually when it does dry out, they have to go out and survey these areas. But look at this. All of the reports that came in from South Florida uh, over uh, 48 reports uh, and a lot of these could be, you know, two uh, people seeing the same system. But of course, we'll see more of these surveys come out in the days to come. And I want to show you how this track was. You see that track? That's the track that Milton took. Most of those reports were on the right hand side of the track. Again, that's what we talk about when we're dealing with the a severe weather threat anytime any of these systems come on shore. This one was a little bit different, though, because generally we see these tornadoes that spin up quickly and quickly go away. With this system, we had long track tornadoes. That's why there was so much damage. And of course, all of that debris, Kara, from Helene in the last week mm -hmm. did not help when we had these high winds in the region. Yeah, I've seen the video just piled up yesterday before all that started coming down. Thanks for the update, Marielle. And just into our newsroom, the Jacksonville Jaguars say that their flight to London is delayed because of Hurricane Milton. The team is set to play the Bears this Sunday, but they'll now be arriving a little later than expected. And they are far from the only ones having travel issues because of Milton. Natalie Haddad live this morning at Dallas Up Field. Now, Natalie, airports in Florida are still closed, so thousands of flights canceled have been for days in some parts. We're going to be dealing with this for a while. 
And the numbers have been ticking up slowly all morning, Kara. So while we are glad that we're not directly impacted by Hurricane Milton, we are going to see travel delays here for days. Now, as of 6 a.m. our time, over 2,200 flights have been canceled across the country. Orlando, Tampa, St. Pete, Sarasota, all their airports are closed. Hundreds and hundreds of the canceled flights across the country are tied to these airports. In this morning, more than 20 flights are canceled here at La Field, more than 60 at DFW, just showing the ripple effect uh, of all of this. Now, speaking with a travel expert, he says travel insurance is key, especially when booking flights during hurricane season. Here's why. He says there is a time limit for when you can get insurance on a trip and actually benefit from it when there is a storm brewing over our oceans. You can't buy insurance once a storm is officially named. So for the folks in Tampa right now, there's no way they're going to be able to get coverage. But for New Orleans trips where the storm is not threatening yet, uh, you can and you should. So again, where a storm is threatening uh, an area of land here on the U.S., if the storm has been named, you can't get insurance there. But at other places, you can. So the more you know about all of that, that was something I personally learned too. Now that travel expert went on to say that while this, while Hurricane Milton is impacting any of your travel plans, now is a perfect time to call your airline and certainly take advantage of any vouchers they may be offering. Kara. Yeah, I bet. Thanks, Natalie. So stay with us on air and online as we follow Milton. We're also trying to stream as much coverage as we can on our streaming app for you at WFA Plus, and you can download it for free on your smart TV on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Okay.